The NASCAR Camp World Truck Series heads to Bristol Motor Speedway, and we see driver pick up his first career NASCAR Camp World Truck Series victory at Bristol Motor Speedway. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. I just got done watching NASCAR Camp World Truck Series race from Bristol Motor Speedway. We're going to go ahead and talk about it. But the main thing I want to talk about is the guy who won the race. Ty Majeski, after all the trials and tribulation, after everything he's gone through over the last couple of years, he is finally a NASCAR Camp and Roll Truck Series winner for the first time in his career. Ty Majeski's had a lot of momentum coming into this race to kick off the round of eight to get into the championship four. Majeski has been really, really quick. And in my opinion, so far in 2022, he has been the quickest Thor Sport driver this year. Yes, Ben Roach sure did have a win before tonight, and it was the only one that had a win. For Thor Sport, but I do think that Ty Majeski is gentlemen overall the fastest car from start to finish this year. He really got an opportunity to come over to Thor Sport last year, ran part time for the team, was working as one of the higher up engineers at Thor Sport Racing, and it's really finally paid off for him. He's got good commitment from Road Ranger, he's got good commitment from other sponsors that are working with him, and now we just need to see an opportunity this year. And he's been so close to winning so many times, and now he's finally a, a, a truck series winner. Huge congratulations, Ty Majeski. I've been a big fan of Ty Majeski really since the beginning of his career. Really from the beginning of his iRacing days, coming into Xfinity, really didn't do great at Roush, had some issues there, but got kicked out of Roush and didn't really get a fair shake there. Then went to Nice Motorsports, drove part-time, and then after, of course, when Chastain had a great year in 2019, everyone thought that he was going to set the world on fire in 2020. He got kicked to the curb early and got kicked out of that partnership in 2020. And then in 2021, took the partnership to work with Thor Sport. And Thor Sport's been a really good family for them. And it's finally paid off for them. The guys worked hard, came from the lay model scene, and he's been so close to winning so many times. And I'm really proud to be a fan of Ty Majeski at the moment. So I'm absolutely pr proud of Ty Majeski. Really awesome to see that. And congratulations to Majeski on picking up the victory. And by the way, he gets to go for a championship. He gets to race in the championship four at Phoenix. That's right. This was a race of the size of championship four. Schedule a little bit more compact this next year, so that's a little bit of positive. But mass congratulations, Ty Majeski, on picking up the victory. So now we're going to go all go through the results of tonight's race and give you my score of tonight's race. So Ty Majeski picks up the victory. Zane Smith finished the second. Zane Smith survived basically on strategy. Zane Smith really had a decent car tonight. Had to actually start at the rear of the field. But lucky for him, he ended up coming up and finishing second. Now, he didn't score a lot of stage points, but that second place finish is going to put him in a really good position going into the next couple weeks. He should be in a pretty good position going into the next race at Talladega. Parker Glickerman finished his third. How about that for Parker Glickerman? Yes, he got up there because of strategy, but Parker Glickerman getting a top five finish for Henderson Motorsports. Parker needs to be full-time next to it. a really good organization. Some people have indicated there might be talks going on. Really good to see Parker get a top five. Grant Infinger with a really strong run finishes fourth. This will put him in a good position in points. I think Grant had one of the best trucks in the field. Strategy kind of affected him a little bit, but he gets a really strong top five finish. Matt Crafton gets a good top five finish after getting eliminated from the playoffs last week. Gets a very solid top five. Derek Cross, who dominated the first like 30 laps of the race, he finishes sixth. Strategy kind of caught him back a little bit, but he got back up front and got a top 10. Good to see that for Derek Krause. Stuart Friesen had one of the best trucks in the second half of the race. He finished the seventh. I think he had a top five truck tonight. Gets seventh. Good run for Stuart Friesen. It will help him in the points. Christian Eckers had a very solid run. He finishes in eighth. Chandler Smith, who I think had the best truck in the field by far tonight, when they decided to come down up the road, I knew it was going to be very hard because the track position was really key. He finished his ninth, and then Corey Heim rounds out the top ten. Decent run for him. Uh, Tyler Aker finishes 11. John Hunter Nemechek, who also had to start at the rear of the field. John Hunter had a decent run tonight. Not a fantastic run. A decent comeback for sure in 12th. Caden Honeycutt. How about Caden Honeycutt finishing 13th? Caden did get up there because of strategy, but he's still a 13th place run. Is very solid. Haley Deegan finishes 14th. I know that we've given a lot of crap to Haley Deegan. I know there's talk that she maybe, runs, maybe could run an Xfinity Series race later this year, and her performances have been great. I know she was also up there because of strategy, but she does get a top 15 finish. She's really got to work on that consistency if she's going to want to stay long-term in this series, and it's good to see herself get a top 15. I know that she was only kind of up there because of strategy, but to get a top 15 and really be in the top 10 a majority of the second half of this race was really good to see. Great run for her. Bailey Curry finishes 15th. Bailey Curry, good run for him. Hopefully he's full-time with a great team next year because he outperformed that Nice Motorsports equipment tonight. Saw a run for Bailey Curry in 15th. 
Taylor Gray finishes in 16th. Tanner Gray had some contact late. I believe it was with Dean Thompson who turned Dean Thompson, but that was on Dean Thompson. He finishes 17th. Ben Rose finishes 18th. We'll hurt him in the points. Carson Osmar finishes 19th. Austin Wiesel finishes 20th. Jack Wood, 21st. Jake Garcia, 22nd. Law Sound, 23rd. Colby Howard, 24th. Jesse Little, who announced earlier this past week that this is going to be his last series, so he's officially retired from the truck series. He'll be doing a higher up role, I think, at Young's Motorsports. Timmy Hill finishes 26th. Matt DiBenedetto finishes 27th. Matty D, I feel terrible for him. The dude actually had a top five truck. I think he could have won this race tonight, but he had to come down pit road as we're throwing the caution for that one wreck, I think, going in turn number two. It's a shame for him because we're Connor Mosack. It's a shame because Matty D was going to have a really strong run in that truck. It's a shame for Matty D. Blaine Perkins finishes in 28th. Lynn Honeyman Jr. finishes 29th. Chase Forty 30th. Uh, Connor Mosack finishes 31st. Actually, it don't happen happened to Chase Forty. He was running top 10. Something must have happened to him. Connor Mosack, 31st after getting spun out. Dean Thompson, after getting crashed out, he finishes in 32nd. Chris Hacker finishes in 33rd. Raj Group, after getting involved in a crash early race where he had nowhere to go, he finishes 34th. Josh Ryum finishes 35th. And then Spencer Boyd finishes last in 36th place. So now all the sober, I'll talk about the race, give you my score of tonight's race. I'm not going to be looking at the Champion World Truck Series playoff standings because we're not really kind of together, but let's talk about the Truck Series race as a whole. This is probably one of the most mid-bristle races I've ever seen. Not much happened. It was a one-lane track. Not much passing happened in the race. The race was dominated really by a couple of drivers, and track position was key. And tire fall-off was also not a thing at all. The leader, compared to the fresh tires, was only falling off one-tenth a second over like 50 or 60 lap run. So the race was not that great, in my opinion. I'm giving tonight's Truck Series race a 5 out of 10. There should have been more that happened in the race, and there really wasn't a lot, which is why the review was really quick tonight, because there really wasn't much to happen. And there was only, like, what, five or six yellows in this race, and just not a great race, in my opinion. The only thing that's really beneficial is seeing Ty and Jesse go out there and get that first win. That's really exciting. So anyway, that is going to be for the Camp World Truck Series short race for you from Bristol Motor Speedway. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, perfect on be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Link description below for that, and comment with your thoughts on today's race. What are your thoughts on tonight's race? Let me know below. Let me know your score in the comments below. And congratulate Ty Majeski on finally picking up his first career Camp World Truck Series victory. Let me know in the comments below. Tomorrow on my channel, I'm going to have a special little video around Kyle Busch talking about he, how I think he will perform with Richard Schultz Racing in 2023. And then Saturday night, we're going to have the Cup Series race review from Bristol. And then Sunday, I've got the 2023 driver lineup predictions, the final one that's going to be coming out in 2023. That is going to be coming on Sunday. So anyway, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for some more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.